The streets of Tembury Wells have been flooded before, but not like this for almost 13 years. There's no way into the town centre. The only way out is by rescue boat. I'm really amazed of this thing. I'm really surprised what is happening right now. Even those living up high are worried. Martin Craddock is weighing up whether to leave his flat or to stay. We're all right till sort of probably tomorrow and then we'll have to just make a decision on what we're going to do. So. The flood defences in front of the shops on the high street have been overwhelmed by the sheer amount of water and as levels in the river continue to rise tonight, residents are saying this is starting to remind them of 2007. Much of England has also seen widespread flooding. Huge areas of the Yorkshire countryside that were already saturated because of rain now completely swamped. And in York, businesses were preparing for things to get worse. In Brighton, the storm hampered the search for a woman who'd gone missing near the beach. Meanwhile, in the Scottish borders, last night emergency services were busy. Two people had to be rescued from this car when a river burst its bank, sweeping the vehicle off the road. People evacuated from their homes took refuge in a local health centre overnight. It started keeping in the front door, then the back door, and then coming up under the floor, so we had to abandon ship then. Severe flood warnings remain in place on the River Team in Worcestershire tonight, which means there is a threat to life. And with a record number of flood warnings across the country, a week on from Storm Kira, communities still await the full impact of Storm Dennis. Stacey